filmed in front of a live studio audience in Orlando, Florida. It's the Hard 10 Game Show. Bam! Oh boy, ODB approved. <laughs> Yes, it's me, it's me, it's M-I-B, Craig, a.k.a. Mr. Impact Blog, the TNAIW channel. And welcome back, finally, to the Hard 10 Game Show, a, where, a quiz where you need to know your impact. Of course, this game, we're going to need a contestant, and our first contestant back of, of this brand new look, of the brand new show, it's our good friend, Lucha. Enough is enough. <laughs> Shout out to Don oh, Williams. What's happening, y'all? Ready to win some prizes? Damn right. Let's go. Well, Hell yeah. Right. <laughs> well, to win prizes, you're going to need a partner. Let's bring in the, the big guppy from the TNA video game. <laughs> it's Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> big guppy. That would be awesome. All right, yeah, hey guys, uh, glad to be back, glad to uh, get to answer some questions and not get to win prizes, but I'm happy our friend Lucha gets the chance to, uh, let's win this shit, buddy. Uh, well, actually, I'm going to kick it right to the rules package, uh, so you all can learn the game, uh, just as we know the game, uh, and once again, if you uh, like this, we are back, so go back and watch episode one and two, where no one wins prizes, uh, so <laughs> it's up to you if you want to. All right, guys, uh, be right back after this. Round 1 is worth the potential 110 points, and it's a pretty straightforward round. 10 categories, 10 questions, and 2 Ds. Uh, option Ds, that is. Whenever the contestant would like to cheat off Jeff's paper, they use an option D. Otherwise, they work alone. But as a team. Huh? You'll see. And now you're once again caught up with the rules of the game. Let's take it to Lucha for your very first category. What you got for us? Uh, we're gonna go knockouts, Alex. We're gonna, we're gonna start see, off with the women. I Ladies saw that one first. coming. Yeah, it's deja vu. Isn't it? <laughs> so did I. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So a question for the knockouts is: Who did Angelina Love win the knockouts tag team titles with? And Jeff's locked in. So Lucha, you can either talk about it, or you, of course you have your options, or you can just go ahead and give me the answer. <laughs> you know, I I give Hogan I give Hogan era impact a lot of credit. Uh, this storyline is not one of those things I give him credit for, but I I I got my answer. It it just disturbs me. Um, it was it was winner. And. Uh, and Jeff, who I uh, actually wrote, I wrote down the same thing. It's winter. Winter, and the correct answer is winter. That's ten points, ten slash ten seconds on the clock already. Up to a strong start. Yes, it was winter. Right, cool. I'm sure everyone's familiar with that story. It was line. interesting. It could have went places, though. You know, it's one of those things that just kind of. Just wasn't thought out, uh, but uh, had a great idea. Just never, kind of a lot of the history of TNA there. Yeah, I'm yeah, up They kind of made it seem. They kind of made it seem like she was drugged, right? And I mean, they never came out and said that she was drugged. It was a long ass drug too. <laughs> just, just changed yeah. the thinking. <laughs> And a successful one because I mean she gets she she gets high and she wins up. <laughs> so does Jeff Hardy. That's not how that worked out for. <laughs> See, maybe that's what it was. Winner was digging in Jeff's bag. All right, my turn, right, Craig? <laughs> oh dear. Uh, speak, <laughs> yeah. Speaking of so, that, um, I don't know where you would go, but let's get title wins out of the way. It's easy segue there. Title wins. Okay. We'll see how this one goes. <clears throat> so, title wins. Who was the referee for all four of Bobby Lashley's world title wins? <laughs> Let's get thinking. <laughs> and Jeff's locked in. 
Luke Chair, you can, again you can discuss it or you have your options. Uh, I know I got, uh, okay, okay. <clears throat> I know I have lifelines, but I'm using my history context clues here. And I'm gonna I'm gonna take this, this stab in the dark, and I'm gonna go with Brian Hebner. You know, Brian Hebner, Jeff. I uh, got? With Brian Hebner as well. I don't know. I'm glad you didn't uh, bank on me, but I hope that's right. It was the first the first title win that kind of made it somewhat. Oh right, because if you remember one, um, and it, yeah, it because I know it wasn't Toll or Bravo <sighs> or any of those guys, so. It was between yeah. Brian or his dad. So we're going with Brian Baby Hefner. Best bump in the business, Brian. Baby, one, two, three. The correct answer is ah, Brian Hefner. Yes. The beat by the beat by yes, the beat by the Dope his shoes in the business too. Always wear nice things to to match his whatever company he was for, for brand. Yeah, he's got the yeah, air head <laughs> next to the PS flyers. I think. I think. I think at Rebellion, he's gonna break out the uh, Montreal screw, uh, screw job. Ooh, sevens. that'd be dope. <laughs> red, red, white, and pink. Oh, yeah. Over to you, So far, knockout and uh, title wins have been knocked off. So, what would you like now? Oh. Um, <clears throat> I feel like my dad would be upset if I didn't uh, go with debuts. So we're going to go with debuts. Debuts. Okay. The question for debuts is, which former knockouts champion made her debut by facing Awesome Kong in her $25,000 challenge? Jeff's locked in. So again, you can discuss your options or just go hang in the answer. I legit thought she was just like an off the street chick. Um, I don't know why all the things that were taped that were fake in wrestling, the whole fan coming in and challenging people was the last thing that that clicked to me that was staged. I'm like, oh, oh these people are really coming out. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I, I believe but, that. I believe, um, I believe Santina. I believe Santina. Wow. Santina. Yeah, right. Um, but I'm gonna run with uh, Taylor Wilde on that one. Yeah, you're going Taylor Wilde. Jeff, who our, have you got? Uh, our third eyes are connected, my friend. I went Taylor Wilde as well, but it's because it's the right answer. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is the correct answer. It is Taylor Wilde. There we go. Damn, three for three. You might not even be any of these uh, options, but um, hey, hey, man. Another, ten 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 <laughs> another ten seconds, up to a total of thirty seconds. That's nice. thirty points. Okay. Off this very, strong, very, very strong um, start. I'm gonna try to you. keep, like I said, the what I think would be the easiest one for us uh, for that double bonus at the end. So let's go. Uh, Let's go a little more difficult. Let's go Asylum Years. Because that could be anything. Really. Asylum Years. Okay. The, the question for Asylum Years is, which legendary tag team made their debut at Pay-Per-View 30 by saving AMW before turning heel to join Sports Entertainment Extreme? I know I'm. Fast. I'm stuck between two. <sighs> but if he uses his thing, we could talk it out, right? Um. You know what? Just locked in his answer, Lucha. Want to talk talk it through? Well, like I said you have your. The weird thing with me on this one is like I remember them running in and saving AMW, but I don't remember them joining joining up with Seth. Um, but uh, 
I'm putting I'm putting money on the road. Remember, you have your two D one or twos before you answer. Yeah. You can either peek at mine and choose to use it, or you could just steal mine uh, completely and just go with whatever I said. Um, but I can't say much else than that. <laughs> I'm a, I'm gonna stick with my guns. I'm going with the road warriors. Gang, the Legion of Doom road warriors. Jeff, who are you I, going uh, for? I I said uh, the Rock and Roll Express. It's been a complete honor. <laughs> yeah, I went Rock and Roll Express. I'm pretty sure it's uh, Ricky Bobby. Correct answer Robert. is. Correct answer is. It was the Rock and Roll Express. Uh, we still get five points for that. We still get five points. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you, man. I, I, I still a strong. I don't start. know much in life, but useless facts. I, I got that. I got. <laughs> 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 it's up on my um, but no, I was stuck between uh, Road Warriors and them. I just remember the Road Warriors actually never like always being face. So I remember Rock and Roll definitely yeah. being in, in sex. Uh, but I don't remember if both were, so I took a gamble there. But I mean, we still have 35 seconds. That's good. That's a good amount of time. Next category. Let's go factions. Uh, for factions. Okay. Question for factions is, which member of the Aces and Eights lost an I quit match to Kurt Angle in, in 2013. I've said impact this So, uh, just to clarify, they were an Aces and Eights member during this time and lost yes. I quit and match to Kurt Angle. Yeah. Yes. This one's difficult. Didn't. Yeah. Stuck between two, but I'm going to lock them. Again, never think I said Jeff's locked in. Lucha, again. After I talk all the <laughs> talk this one through. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you guys can see the smoke coming from out of my ears, but um, <laughs> I'm kind of sort of drawing a blank on this one. So I'm going to I'm gonna use one of my, my uh, lifelines here and trust me. Just take it? And hope that he... No talk out. Yeah. Okay. Going to take the answer, okay. I put my so, I put my trust in you. Um, so to, to answer because we have to go. My answer. I said Ken Anderson. My original thinking was Briscoe, but 2013 seems a little bit later in it. Uh, and Anderson and him had those stretch of matches, but uh, not sure to be honest. It didn't feel like a Hardy or not a Hardy. Excuse me, a Bully Ray thing. Um, I can't see the the champion there tapping out. So um, I went with Anderson. Ken Anderson. I can tell you that answer is incorrect. Ah, sorry. It was, in fact, the vice president, D'Lo Brown. D'Lo wrestled and lost. Wow. The real deal? D'Lo Brown <laughs> lost the bad quick match to Kurt Angle on the impact. Two weeks later, he was thrown off TV. Sounds about right. Damn, Jeff. I guess we better <laughs> recognize. Messing with the real deal now, I guess. Craig is. <laughs> the sad thing is, though, I, too, was between Anderson really? and Briscoe. That's the sad part. Like, Briscoe was the first person that came in my mind, and I'm like, wait, no. I quit match. Kurt and Anderson yeah. had some history by that point, so that sounds like a natural progression. Yeah, yeah that was the f very first member of Ace and Eights to be kicked out, followed by d yeah. That's such an odd. Are you starting out? No, they start by race. Hogan era. Ha. <laughs> the proof is indeed is in the pudding. pudding. It's just not chocolate pudding because they <laughs> toss that <laughs> stuff out. <of>. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, we're not supposed to mention. Uh, never mind. I won't get into it. I was going to do a Bill Cosby joke, but what's going on? We're talking about pudding. <laughs> So, uh, you are left with theme songs, pay per views, X Division, gimmicks. You know, I'm going to save theme songs um, for. Oh, is, it, is it your? No, it's mine. It's me. Yeah, it's you. <sighs> See, it depends on how Craig's mind works.
but I think if I go pay per view, <laughs> that could be most difficult. So let's go pay per view. It's wasted on a pay per view. Okay, so the question for pay per view is: at which pay per view? I only the, I only need the name, not the year. At which pay per view did China team with Kurt Angle? <laughs> I know the match. <laughs> you know it. Okay. Uh, I know what she wore. I know what he wore. The crowd popped huge. Uh, it was against uh, Jarrett and Karen, I believe. <sighs> <laughs> See, I saved this question especially for Luke hey. because I knew he'd love the, her, the opponents. Can I say it and not get edited? No, no, no. <laughs> no. You know, I'll, I'll, I'm stuck between two, but I'm going to lock it in. This is what I get for talking about it. <laughs> Jeff's locked in. Luke, you're we'll uh, talk about it. Okay. I mean, I, I got it, but I mean, Jeff, if you want to... No, it's true. You no, because I notes. can't change mine once it's locked I, in, so... Uh, yeah, cause I, I got it. Um, I'm going to sacrifice. I think you're right. Yes. <laughs> what did you go with? I went Victory Road because I saw red, white, and blue like gimmick, but I think it was just their outfits, unfortunately. The correct answer is indeed sacrifice. Ah, nice. Good job. Another five seconds added to your time. Cool. So we're sitting at 40 seconds. That's not bad. We almost got a minute. Let's take it to the extra version. Going for the X division. Oh, DMX. Okay. <laughs> X division question is Who won the very first Ultimate X match? Oh. And it's probably the same two. I'm um, stuck between. Okay. Yeah. Locked it. Hey, just just, just got locked in, Lucha. <coughs> Yo. The only thing I would say on this. Um, um, is that if you use this one, at least I could tell you mine and we could talk it out, but I'm going to be honest with you. I'm, I'm stuck between two. And they might not even be right. Yeah. And like I, said, like I said, I feel like it's the same two that I'm stuck between. Um, but, and I, I want to save the discussion for when I feel we, it'll benefit us the best. Um... I'm going to throw it on Michael Shane. Uh, Michael Shane. Jeff? How you said that, Craig, kind of worries me. Uh, <laughs> um, but I was stuck between Saban and Michael Shane. Um, and the reason I had Michael Shane was at that point, I feel like I remember him bleeding. And he was bloody and he was holding the belt. And then I thought, wait, that's not the one him and Kazarian won at the same time. Because that was individual him holding the belt. And they never mentioned Saban being, they always mention him being the, the, one of the uh, forefathers, of, forefathers of the Ultimate X uh, match, but they never say he won the first one. So I went with Michael Shane, that was my logic, I, I have it locked in. Yeah, I believe Saban has been in yeah. more than anybody. Maybe won more than anybody, yeah. but never, I don't think he won the first one. I think they would mention him. So, going with Michael Shane. The correct yes. uh, Michael Shane. There we go. That's Skype five. Another 10 seconds. Another 10 seconds. That's 40, 50 seconds on the clock. All right. I'm feeling, we're getting our groove here. I like this. I got Last you. Know. Points. Okay, so we're left with tag teams, 
theme songs and gimmicks. Well, I'm going to be real. I don't think we should save theme songs for the end because uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't trust my ability. Uh, and, and you hear me out. You'll hear, you'll hear why. Um, <laughs> I think tag teams is easy because it's a... Let's go gimmicks. Let's go gimmicks. Gimmicks. Okay, <clears throat> so gimmick, gimmicks. Here we go. Turning point. Two thousand and five saw who compete in the first ever barbed wire massacre. We have to name both. Both. Yeah. And just locked in. Lucha, over to you. Yeah, this one's kind of easy because I literally watched this nice. one yesterday. <laughs> oh. uh, we're going with the suicidal, homicidal, genocidal, justifying maniac, and the monster. Sabu versus this. Yes, Jeff. For five billion. Uh, I don't know about that amount, uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I agree. I, I went with uh, Abyss and Sabu. Uh, beautiful match. I was uh, watched it live. Yeah, we have Sabu and Abyss. The correct answer is, of course, nice. Sabu and Abyss. All right, rock and roll, man. Okay. Another ten seconds. Now to. We're in a minute. Sixty yes. seconds. Cool. One minute. Beautiful. So now we're we're down to theme songs and tag teams. Tag -team. And I can't help you with teams. theme songs. So it would make sense to pick uh well wait. Oh yeah, yeah. We'll use theme songs for the bonus one and, and choose tag teams now. Because then you use your thing, I think, right? Strategically the best. Yeah, team, I think so. That's how we <laughs> fella check it. Yeah, so we're gonna go. We're gonna go that route. So, so yeah. tag teams. Yeah. yeah. Going to the tag team division. Okay. So, the question for tag teams is: Who was Brian Myers' tag team partner when he became Impact Tag Team Champion? I'm locked in. Uh, if you want to use your thing for shits and giggles, uh, <laughs> might as well. I know it because I was there when he won, and if I got this wrong, I would get kicked out of my state. Carolina Caveman, Trevor Lee. Yeah. Right there with you. I said Trevor Lee. One of the most underrated X Division champions. I'm Trevor. Yo, Trevor Lee was nice. He just didn't have the cast around him. Trevor. Uh, yeah. Trevor Lee, I can tell you that the answer is, of course, it was Trevor Lee. There we go. So what's that put us at? One, one minute, ten okay. seconds. So now this is to make it one minute and thirty seconds, right? This is the uh, round one double points in its theme song. <laughs> oh, man. Um, so... And... I'm scared with theme songs because this company has a history of generic sounding theme songs with the exception of like maybe 19 total Oof, people throughout no, the company. No, no, no. They have some really good ones. Let's give Dale Oliver and, and Serge their, they their do. props here. They do. But, uh, and they do. That wasn't going to be a slide at all, but like they, they sound kind of. Well, it doesn't matter, unfortunately, because you're not going to hear a theme song. Uh, played from the YouTube channel or, or downloaded. Um, unfortunately, it's me and a kazoo. <laughs> and I. <laughs> Wait a minute, we've got. Edge Christian, Christian, yeah, so Christian kazoo. Uh, Christian French kazoo. Uh, <laughs> Craig sent me uh, the one that I will be doing. Uh, Here to go. 30 seconds on the clock. Got your 30 seconds. And then. In three. Three, two, two one. one. Hold on. It's set to one minute thirty. Dang. I mean, Jeff, you can go for a minute. <laughs> I'll 30, pass out. Right? <laughs> okay. okay. Now it's second on the clock. In three, three two, two, one, one. Go. 
<laughs> oh, what, am I doing this wrong? That sounded like the theme song of the PBS Kids in 2007. <laughs> <laughs> you hit an all-time blow. Luca, can you can you even guess that? I don't even know what gender to guess. Uh, <laughs> um, dun, 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 dun. That part kind of gives me El Patron vibes. I, I will say that these are more iconic songs. We'll just be fair. You can say that. Take a guess. T. Gray Uno. Iconic. Going for. Be mad. So, can my hand even do it this way? Where's the camera? Uh, that's not uh, mine. Not. <laughs> Think on it. Yeah, I did the. I did the. I would call it. That's the beginning. I did the. There's too many that's too many notes in that part for them. That song only says M E M at that point. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's all okay. like they were legit saying main event mafia. <laughs> <laughs> I've been totally bad. You saw what they did. I said it wasn't going to be easy. We're going to play us to commercial. Uh, we're going to go over the rules for uh, for round number two, and then we'll be right back. <clears throat> round two is worth a potential 150 points. The contestant will work with Jeff to guess the exact percentage of the poll results in question. Dead on bullseye, 50 points. Points are received if within 25%. Time to use some Steiner math. And now we're going to round two. These are together. We asked 100 people. This is all about percentage of the people we asked. It's five topics. You guys choose three. And here are the topics. We, we start with the main event <laughs> mafia. <laughs> <laughs> The Hogan era. What's up your alley? Dixie Carter. Super X Cup. And Kurt Angle. All right, Lucha, it's your, uh, it's your, uh, it's your prizes. So <laughs> you choose where you're headed. I I'm okay with any of these. I think it's going to be hard, but um, we'll just work together and see what we do. Oh, uh, well, man. Yeah. You know me, I love any opportunity I can to talk about my dad. And I have two opportunities to do that whole <laughs> Let's go with him solo. Okay. So the the question was out of out of every debut to date, did Kurt Angle's debut make the biggest impact in our history? Uh, how many people out of one hundred how percentage of people out of one hundred said Yes. So out of all of our debuts, not include I imagine that means not home. I mean So how many people yeah. would say yes, Kurt Angles was the biggest debut that we had? That would be a high number so too. because that was a big deal for it. Yeah. Like I think like because I mean before Kurt came, Sting came, NWT had already NWT. been there. And I mean, it was a big deal, but it wasn't like 
it wasn't how like when Kurt came. When Kurt came, yeah. everyone was like, oh, that was the turning point for the, the average uh, fan as well. I feel like. So we got to figure. We got to yeah. take into consideration how many people of those hundred watched maybe that era and think the same because some of these kids might think good brothers for god's sake. you know what i mean like so we don't know yeah Ugh. i mean based off of in the short time they've been here i mean the good brothers would right. be up there in my opinion but number one is kurt and it would still be okay. a pretty high number i wouldn't go any lower than like you think 70. it's over no lower no, than low. 70. i wouldn't go no Oof. lower than 70. Between seventy. To be to honest, I, I was in the I was in the sixty-eight percent uh, number is where I was at. Um, but if you want to, if you're set on, you want to go seventy. I mean, that's only two points difference at what I was going to say. So. Yeah, that, that seems like a yeah. I'll go seven because I mean, like I said, there have been other debuts, but that one was the biggest one, and a lot of. The masses, whether you were a fan, yeah, or not, that's fair. agree with yeah. that. Because I don't see so. anyone else. Like even if you say CM Punk or you go through history, those they weren't at the level they were uh, when they, they debuted. Uh, yeah, that was still Cookie Monster <laughs> Punk. That wasn't Chicago made. But. All right, yeah, we'll lock that in then. Let's go. Uh, we'll go seventy. We'll go seventy percent. Seventy percent. The out of one hundred people. 82.5 people said Kurt Angle's debut wow. is in the company's history. Wow, so 82.5. Holy lord. So we get 30 points, right? 30 seconds? Oh, no, 20 seconds. We get 20. Damn. We were over 10. So we get 20 points. But hey, 20 points is better than none. So good job on that. 82.5%. That's... I wasn't expecting yeah, that's to be pretty that damn high. It's pretty damn good. So you're now left with the main event Mafia, Hogan Era, Dixie Carter, and Super X Cup. If they're anything like this, you would assume that it's going to be. Actually, I don't know. I don't want to assume. You know. Um, do you want to do main event Mafia since you kind of alluded to, you know, angle two answers? Might as, might as well get my dad out of the way and then okay. go from there. So we asked, who is your favorite original member of the main event mafia? And out of 100 people, what percentage of those people said Sting oh. was their favorite member of the mafia? So we got the obviously original Booker member. T, Scott Steiner, Charmel, Jenna Maraska. Oh. Um... She has the greatest entrance in the Who's history of Man of Mafia, but oh, yeah. Jenna Morocco. Um, Booker T, Scott Steiner, Kevin Nash, Sting. Okay. I can tell you for sure, I feel like Sting and Kurt would yeah. be the top two, followed by, if anything, really? Scott Steiner. Booker. That would be my top three. Okay, so we have... You think Nash would be the least? I, I think so too. Yeah. Uh, same, love, same, but just out of Nash, out of this but... group, uh, you know, Chet Lemon is is the man. But I feel like um, Steiner would be above, even though Booker shit was hilarious. Respect. <laughs> I love that. Era. It is all yes. about the time. Um. I agree with you. Do you think Sting is above Angle? No. Um, okay. No. no. So if we were to say each of these people got equal parting, they'd get 20% if it's the five. Um, but we would say Nash got less, Booker got less, and Steiner got less. What do you think? You, you want to say a third? Yeah, I was going about 35, maybe 40, but um, I'll chill out I think 35. that's a good number. I like uh, that. Uh, I'm good with you. If, I mean, it's your choice to get, so. Yeah, I'm with that. Uh, 35, 
35% said Sting was their favourite original member of the main event Mafia. Entirely 35% said Sting was their favourite member of the main event Mafia. Hey! <laughs> Nice! That's an extra 50 seconds. That is a bullseye. Hell yeah, dude. Dance! Can you, uh, do you have the information as far as the rest of them? Uh, yes. Okay. Um, so, who did you say we think, who who do you think was was the lowest ranked member? I think we agreed on. Kevin Nash. And Kevin Nash? can tell you <laughs> it was Sean Mel, oh, well, 0%. Yeah, well, Sean Mel. Oh, Ke- wow. Kevin Nash is joint with Scott Steiner with oh, 7.5%. Wow. So Booker, number three. Yeah, Kurt Angle has, se- uh, has uh, 37%. That sounds about and right. The quick math for me, Booker T <clears> was... 12.5. 12.5. Wow. Uh, total total right now is 2 minutes and 20 seconds. That's good. How to have the end game. So and, and of course you have one more. Okay, so we have Super go. X Cup, Hogan, Aaron, and Dixie. <sighs> I would imagine Hogan and Dixie are going to be a little more difficult than Super X Cup, but I couldn't tell you. Super X Cup is the one that oh, okay. I'm a little worried about. Um, Dixie, Dixie is okay. I'm worried about Super X Cup, then Dixie, and worried about Hogan Air at the least because that was okay. That was you want to go with that? <clears throat> no, um, I like pain, so we're gonna go with <laughs> Super X Cup. Okay. We're going for the Super. X Cup. So we asked 100 people the best Super X Cup mm. winner. So we asked 100 people who's who's best okay. Super X Cup winner. How many out of those 100 people said Chris Sabin was the was the best? We have Dez. You won. Ace, Ace. Well, I think this. Did you pull these before or after this? Before, right? Ace is on that. Ooh. That, okay. that plays a part because a lot of people yeah. love them. Save it. Awesome. Did Hector Garza? No, he, he won the. Uh, no. That victory, the Victory Road uh, Battle Gauntlet, the Gauntlet for the yeah, first one. First okay, okay, okay. I know, I admit, Daniels? No, he was part of the Team USA that won. Joe. Samoa Joe won one. That's right. Okay. Joe is a hard one to get over. Dez, too new, and obviously gone, so I don't know how that would play. Ace is ace, which is great, but these people answering, are they newer fans? Are they, you know? Okay, if we're going based off of if they're newer or older fans, I feel like the one consistent would be Saban, which would make his number higher. Okay. But also Joe. Yeah. So this might be on some sting and a third angle (laughs) man. Yeah. Um I think it's fair to say that it's probably Dez uh, Ace Joe Saban or Saban Joe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And that's honestly 40. that's what I was thinking was forty, uh, somewhere between thirty-eight and forty-two. Um, it, it's up to you, my friend. Yeah. You want to lock it in at forty? Yeah, forty seems about right. the best See number forty. Forty percent. Said so Chris Sabin was the favorite super, the best super X Cup winner. Tell you that 35% said Chris hey, Sabin was the go. best super X Cup winner. Oh, yeah. Dude, we have three minutes. <laughs> was he beautiful? 
<laughs> was he number one or number two? Dead on 40, 40% went for Smojo. Wow. Followed by Dez at 15% and wow. Ace Austin at 10%. Wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. I would have flipped that. Cool. All right. Well, we got three minutes uh, <laughs> all together. Uh, we might win this hard 10. Um, we're going to go to a quick commercial, uh, re, uh, rehydrate, <laughs> go to the treehouse, and we'll come back for the official hard 10 finale. You said three minutes. I got to make sure Eric Bischoff is <laughs> creeping around here. If I could do their song. Did I just say three minutes? Oh, I can't just do it. All right, we'll be right back. This is the Hard 10. One category, one word clues, 10 wrestlers for answers. Get all 10 within your earned time and receive all 10 prizes. Now cue the dramatic music. And now it is time for the Hard 10. You've seen the rules? Are you just familiar with the rules? You have three minutes, exactly. And the topic is world champions so i'll start the time in all right i'm ready yep ready ready time starts in three three two, two one. one hate slap nuts Coalition Christian Correct A pass Money. I can't hear you. Oh, uh, I was I was whispering money. You could just say go uh, next. Like I keep going to give you another hint. Um. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Canada. Bobby Roode. Um, Correct. Kill. Um, Raven. <laughs> uh, uh, this is hard. Um, pass. Machine gun. Um, UK. Um, Magnus. Champion. True. Uh, Traitor. Machine. EC3. Bananas. Correct. <laughs> uh, Pot. Aries. Van Dam. Um, Parody. Um, Eric Young. 24. 10 seconds. Two, one, one. Damn. Damn. That's on me. That's on me. Damn. Yeah. What do we get? Eight. Work, eh? Add that up. I'll continue mm -hmm. with the one that I, I'm, I'm struggling at because I'm not allowed to say names, so it was hard to. Um, rap. Truth. And then uh, the other one I, I couldn't get was um, 
I don't know what you would say for this. Um, nation? Submission. Uh, damn it. Yeah. Okay. 8 out of 10. Yeah, it's 8 All out right, of 10. Well, uh, yeah, not bad. 8 out of 10 is uh, well, I think our highest so far. It is a great game. So now is the part where uh, Lucha had picked numbers uh, at random prior to the show. Uh, so if he had won uh, less than 10, unfortunately, uh, he would have an order in which we would reveal uh, the prizes he won. So are you ready, Lucha, to see, <laughs> see the prizes you have won? Let's okay. do this. Okay, first, you have a pack starring Hogan <laughs> of TNA trading cards. Oh, oh, man. We have the most important trading card. A Magnus sign trading card. <laughs> hey, man. Okay. We have one of the best DVDs, Final Resolution, with Sting, Christian, and Abyss as the main event there. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Seidel, <laughs> is this uh, PG enough? We put this on. <laughs> Taryn Terrell. Who was that? <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least, this was actually the first thing you chose, but uh, I had to reveal it last. TNA, the DVD board game. There's your Yay. T hard 10 killings. Is that your name, Jennings? <laughs> hard 10 Jennings. Word. Respect to the greatest Jeopardy oh, player okay. of all time. <laughs> that makes Jim. a lot of sense. Well, uh, well, I hope you liked that. It was a good time, man. I hope you guys liked it. Thanks for tuning in to our first uh, Hard 10 from the reboot. Uh, questions, comments, concerns, obviously, Brent is at TNA at the channel. Uh, everyone give a round of applause to Lucha, our, our contestant today. Our host, Fred, his master tag, aka Mr. Impact Blog. There you go. Thanks for putting this together. Uh, closing remarks from you guys before we send it away. All I got to say is thanks for having me, y'all. This was a long time coming, and I'm glad it came through. Shout out to the Diamond Villains, and... Craig? Take it easy. Yeah, of the Just Evil stuff. You can find us here, there, and everywhere. You know, it's fine by now. Hope you enjoyed this one. Hope you're back again sooner than you were back for this one. But I hope to see you on uh, this Saturday for uh, another episode of the podcast. Any time right. this time. We'll see you guys next. Oh, yep. So one more thing. Mike G for Impact <laughs> Plus president. It's our boy Combat. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>